Hello, welcome back to Radiant 6 Tutorials. I'm Kevin Christofferson. And I'm Peg Murphy. Okay, so today we're continuing on our look at your brand versus the competition. And now we're going to look at some analytics. We looked before at some things that will give you some kind of softer dimensions. You'll have keywords, key influencers, key images. Now we're looking at some numbers. Correct. So the first box that's open here is the total number of posts. So if we look at our brand, haagen if I mouse over the brand, I could see the total number of posts right here, 9,385. Now obviously if I double click on that, just like all the other tutorials, I could go in here and say I want to open up the River of News and understand what's going on. So let's take a look. Okay, and then uh, let's see a couple of key things we're picking up. Um, I always love seeing people's photos and what they think is important, key flavors that are popping up. You can also always see, you could include this in a table or in a chart, and I'd want to keep track of this over time. Number of followers, number of the people following, but right this, now we're looking at all the posts. So there's a fair amount of activity right, for haagen Again, sometimes I just like to go to top 10 and open that up, and as this opens up, we can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, so we would have to kind of filter through yes, and see and what's up with the gay marriage thing. The best ice cream flavors per summer, our editor's picks, that's PR. Um, again, ice cream flavors you must try. So I could obviously, if I wanted to, again, I could open this up and explore further, obviously, and see where this is coming from um, and go right to my media viewer. Okay, and we can do the same thing. Now, you can do the competitors. We're still back here in total number of posts. I could do them individually or I can lump them together. We have just pulled out Edie's and as you can see, looking directly at the brand haagen versus Edie's, the volume is way more over with, with um, haagen versus Edie's. It's partially a function of distribution, but maybe it's a marketing. And now let's go down to the next uh, widget we have open on, and this is uh, total unique source count. Um, again, brands is for haagen is way there's way more as you can see versus our competitors count um, and again I could open this up and let's do uh, instead of river news let's do a conversation cloud a lot of the same things we saw so the yesterday last time. yeah key flavors the uh, voucher the voucher promotion going on I'd kind of like to see what that watching is right because ice cream is a little bit of a my my time kind of thing I might want to see what that's all about and you can just dig through these like and I'm going to open up a river of news just for fun. Watching friends eating haagen ice cream. Perfection. Watching the notebook with a tub of haagen -Dazs. So obviously this is kind of interesting. This is just people talking about what they're watching, what they're doing as they're eating their brand. Maybe it's their favorite brand. Who knows? All right. All right. Um, so, if I'm keeping a log, maybe I'm build, developing a table, and I can track this over time about the number of posts, unique source count, Twitter followers. Now, Twitter followers. We talked about this in one of our last tutorials, but again, here we can see the number of, wow, Twitter followers for haagen versus Edie's. Um, and let's just open Edie's here, for instance, and let's go to River of News. Excuse me. Um, so my flavor of the month, Edie's Green Mint. Okay, and Edie's Mint Chocolate Chip. That's oh, where all the talk has been. And we saw this yesterday. Eat this, mm -hmm. not that. Eat this, not that. Um, and I bet if we went to top 10, we'd see the same thing. Okay, so I'm probably going to want to pay attention, and we talked about influences before, to these people if I continue to see this over time. Not only in terms of volume, but in terms of the conversation they're having. Exactly. I want to understand what they're saying and what they're saying about my brand or my competitor. So I think you're getting the picture, so we're not going to spend too much time here. I'm going to get to the next widget, likes and votes. Ah, and this is very swung over on the haagen side. Wow. The brand. I, I, it's unbelievable. So the engagement level of sharing, of voting, of being more interactively involved is far higher for haagen -Dazs. So what should what EDs do in this case? They need to create more conversation, they need to get people actively involved. I'd like to see what is really going on here because not much. Most of what we've seen for EDs besides the transparent is coupons, coupons, coupons right. lots of couponing and deals and I, again I'm seeing that here too. Um, Lots of deals. It's mainly deals. So we understand where Edie's needs to go. 
Okay, and the last one we're going to look, why we're looking at analytics. Again, this could go into your table that it's you view share counts. with your clients. So, again, view count. Here, they're, you know, people are looking at looking at Edie's and Haganaz. Um, I want to see what's going on. Okay, and again, within these charts, you can, uh, it's up to you, and depending on what you're doing, if you want to actually use the chart, bar, or pie chart, whatever works. Scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Huh? Great. Um, I'm going to hit top 10 here just because I want to. I wonder what this is. And I don't know. So you're going to come across things you don't know either. Ah, it's a video. And I'm not going to play it right now. But you aren't. If you guys have any more questions involving... Uh, Radiant 6 Analytics, please come see Peg or I or someone else in the department and we'll be glad to help. Thank okay. you for joining us today. Thank we'll you. Bye-bye.